Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to operate with angle measures expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds. We already know that angles can be measured using degrees, correct? But there are also units of angle measure that represent portions of a degree and they're called minutes and seconds. And this is how they are related to degrees. So 60 minutes and we denote minutes by the symbol prime, equals one degree. So 60 minutes equals one degree. Or we can of course say that one minute and one sixtieth of a degree. We get that if we divide both sides by 60. Okay, now let's move on to seconds. So 60 seconds, and we denote seconds by the double prime symbol, equals one minute. This sounds very familiar well, because we use same units and relation to measure the time. So 60 seconds equals one minute. Um, or if we divide both sides by 60, we can say that one second is one sixtieth of a minute. And we can even make one step further and connect seconds to degrees. So if one second is one sixtieth of a minute and one minute is one sixtieth of a degree, that means that one, so I'm going to combine those two together, one, one second is, okay, so it's one sixtieth of a minute and then one minute is one sixtieth of the degree. So it equals one over 3600 degree. So that's how we can connect seconds and degrees. Okay, but let's um, actually do the following examples. Now down here I have um, two angle measures expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds. And by the way, sometimes for short it's called DMS format. So what we have here is the sum of two angle measures. One angle measures 60 degrees, 24 minutes, 25 seconds. Second angle measures 82 degrees, 49 minutes, 56 seconds. And as we can see here, we need to add those two angle measures. Well, the way we add, well, we, first of all, we have to align those angle measures, which is already done here. That's the, the most convenient way. And then we add seconds, we add minutes, and then we add degrees. And in some cases, we'll have to do some adjustment after that. Well, let's add. 5 plus 6 is 11. Write 1, carry over 1, 2 plus 5, 7, and then 1, 8. 81 seconds. Next, 4 plus 9 is 13. 2 plus 4, 6 plus 1, 7, 73 minutes. 0 plus 2 is 2. 6 plus 8 is 14. 142 degrees. Okay, so this is what I've got. But now I'd like to bring your attention to seconds and minutes. If we have seconds or minutes that are greater than 60, we would want to make conversion. And this is how we're going to perform this. So we're going to start on the right hand side. Right here I have 81 seconds. Well, 81 seconds is 60 seconds plus 21 seconds. And now what I'm going to do with the 60 seconds, we know 60 seconds equals one minute, right? I'm going to convert it to one minute. And that minute I'm going to add to the minutes right here. So now I have to rewrite what I have. I still have 142 degrees. Now instead of 73, I have 74 minutes. And I only have 21 seconds left. Like that. Now once you take care of the seconds, you have to move on to the minutes and check them as well. We already said that there are more than 60 minutes. Well, we're going to do the same trick. 74 minutes, I'm going to split into 60 minutes plus 14 minutes. And now 60 minutes will be converted to one degree. So 60 minutes, 
I'm converting to one degree and I'm adding that one degree to the degrees. So plus one degree, like that. Let's write down what we have at the end. What's the final answer? So instead of 142, now I have 143 degrees, 143 degrees. Um, minutes. Okay, 60 we carried over. We only have 14 minutes left. 14 minutes and 21 seconds. Like that. And that's going to be the answer. Well, let's try it again with another example. Well, same kind of problem. We have to add two angle measures expressed in degrees, minutes, and seconds. We're going to start from the right-hand side. We already aligned the numbers, so starting on the right. 51 seconds plus 9 seconds, that's 60 seconds. 42 plus 17, so that is 9 and 5. 5, 59 minutes. And then degrees 4 plus 5 is 9, 2 plus 5 is 7, and then 1. 179 degrees. So we said that when we have value that's greater than 60 seconds or 60 minutes, we have to convert it. Well, I should say that it's actually when it's 60 seconds, exactly 60 seconds or minutes. We would want to convert that as well. So instead of 60 seconds, I'm going to write one minute and I'm going to add it to the minutes. One minute being added. So now I have 179 degrees, 59 plus 1, 60 minutes. And I don't have any seconds left, correct? It means that I'll just write 0, 0 seconds. Okay? Um, now I notice that we, after we add an extra minute, we have 60 minutes. So we'll do the same trick and we'll convert 60 minutes into one degree, which we'll add to the degrees. So one degree. So instead of 179, we'll have 180, 180 degrees. And since all minutes that we had got converted to the degrees and we don't have anything left, as far as the minutes, it's going to be zero minutes and zero seconds and that's going to be the final answer in this case it's it's okay to write just 180 degrees but since we're working with dsm format i'll just leave zeros here okay so that's how we add now let's try subtracting and here's our first example. So we have to subtract those two angle measures expressed in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Similar idea. We align values vertically and then we start from the right hand side. So first we're going to subtract seconds. Get 3 minus 5. I cannot do. I'll have to borrow. So it's 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5 is 8. And then 3 minus 1 is 2. 28 seconds. Okay, let's move on. Now I'm focusing on the minutes. And I'm noticing here that I don't have enough minutes to subtract 43, right? 17 minus 43. How do we deal with this? Well, we need to increase the number of minutes. How do we do that? Well, by donating one degree into the minutes. Because if I take one degree, so it means that I'll have 104 degrees left, and I'll place that degree to the minutes, that's that degree, that will be converted to 60 minutes. So once again, what I did is that I had 105 degrees, I am taking one degree, which I convert into 60 minutes, and that will be added to the minutes and I have 104 degrees left. So now I have to write down the total number of minutes I have after this manipulation. So I had 17 minutes and now I added 60 more. So all together I have 77 minutes. So 60, 60 and 17 together will give me 77 minutes. And now I have enough to subtract. So I have to make a lot of notes here for myself to, to stay on track. Okay, 77 minus 43. 7 minus 3 is 4. 
and then 7 minus 4 is 3, so it's 34 minutes. Okay, and then finally, we have to subtract degrees. Now make sure that you look at this new number, so it's 104 minus 48. So 4 minus 8, so I have to borrow, so it's going to be 9, 14, 14 minus 8, that is 6, and then 9, 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, 56 degrees. So 56 degrees, 34 minutes, 28 seconds. That's how we perform subtraction. If you don't have enough seconds or minutes to subtract, you have to donate from the neighboring units. And this is going to be our last example. Let's subtract those two angular measures. Okay, as I start on the right hand side, I notice that Again, I don't have enough to subtract. I have 16 seconds minus 35 seconds. So um, I will be donating one minute. So I just move on to the neighboring units. So I'm donating one minute. It means that I'll have seven minutes left. And then one minute is being donated to the seconds. And that one minute is being converted to 60 seconds. So what's the total number of seconds now? It's 60 that I just donated plus 16 that I had from the beginning. That means that the total number of seconds is 76 seconds. And I am ready to subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 minus 3, that's 4. So 41 seconds. Okay, let's move on. Um, minutes. I need to remember that I have only 7 minutes left and I have to subtract 24. Again, I cannot do that, so I have to donate from the degrees. I have 79 degrees as I donate 1 degree. So it's going to be 1 degree that converts to 60 minutes. I will have only 78 degrees left, so I need to make sure to write that, otherwise I'll forget. So how many minutes do we have now? It's 60 that we donated plus 7 that we had. So together it's going to be 67 minutes. Okay, 67 minutes minus 24 minutes. 7 minus 4 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. 43 minutes. And then finally, degrees 78 minus 59. That is... 6, 18, so 9, and then 6 minus 5 is 1, 19. 19 degrees, 43 minutes, and 41 seconds. Um, as you can see, the, the math itself is not that hard. You just have to be careful, and I end up putting a lot of notes here, but that's something that helps me, and using different colors is really helpful. So that's how we work with degrees, minutes, and seconds.